What's up, you wonderful nerds and nerdettes? This is Alex here, back with part nine, nine, nine of Alan Wake. Just burning through. About five seconds ago, I ended the last episode. Just turn this one right on. Just going to power on through all of this. Um, and I was saying, I, I recognize one other thing I really like about the game, and that is the amount of options I have for combat. They did not make it too many things. You have your your main weapon, which is your rifle. You have like a, the heavy weapon, which is the hunting rifle or the shotgun. You got like the AOE weapon, which is the flare. And then you've got your two other AOE throwables, which are um, sorry, the flare gun. And then you've got the you've got the flare and the flashbang. Like, and I feel like I'm always I'm switching between all of them. I know to use all of them. Uh, other games, you get like twenty weapons, and you have like a weapon wheel, and you really just lock in on like two or three weapons you use and you don't ever use the other ones and alan wake just kind of said yeah we recognize that here's like two or three solid weapons and get used to using them because you're gonna use them all the time just great was there something down no okay oh wow i would be terrified to ride this all right birds where are you it's got to be a bird time No birds? Oh, we're only a third of the oh, there are the birds. I knew this had to be a bird fight. It was too set, too well set up for it. back here I don't want to point my flashlight at them because when I do that they run away I want to keep my flashlight off of them as long as possible and then hit them when they get here but I guess they're gone um excuse me excuse me I am I'm trying to survive Why would you do this? I was just trying to cross the ski lift. Why would you do this? I'm starting. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, thought that was going to keep rolling. I'm starting to get the feeling this dark presence doesn't want me around or something. Strange. I mean, I'm the famous writer Alan Wake. Why wouldn't it want me around? Nice. Anything up here? Hmm. I wonder if there's an achievement related to knocking all of these down. Because I've seen multiple stacked up cans like that. And I know you can shoot them down, so I'm wondering if there's something about that. I mean, I've definitely skipped one or two of them, so no sense to waste ammo on it now since I'm not getting it anyway, but... Feels like there's something there. Wow, they really want me to take the hunting rifle, don't they? How much ammo do I have? Alright, let's make the switch. The game's really pushing for it. Oh, shit! They snuck up on me. Usually the game gives me like a little warning that someone's about to attack me. Nope. They just hit me. Alright, let's get to this light, whatever this is.
Alan Wake really is just a monster with the revolver. Does not miss. Missing is not in his vocabulary. Except for his wife. He is missing his wife. Why would you have an extra area up here if you didn't hide something up here? Doesn't make sense. So let's go up here and find what you've hidden. And it's nothing. Of course it's nothing. I should design game levels. Because I would revolt... I tried to put the W and the V together and it did not work in my head. Or in my mouth. I would reward players for um, exploring everything. Like, even if it's just, like, a little more ammo or something. Like, if you go off the beaten path and go look at an area that I didn't expect... Oh, shit. That I didn't expect anyone to look at. Oh, God, I tried to toss the flashbang. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me, game. Like, I'm going to reward you for doing that. Because that just that just makes players have a more incentive to interact with your world. And it draws out the playtime because they spend more of that playtime exploring the world you created. Not that the objective should ever be to just draw out the playtime for no reason, but I don't know, if they're going to explore anyway, why not give them... Oh, there's a coffee thermos. Why not give them the reward for seeing everything you created. I, I want to make video games. I just don't know how. I tried to learn blueprints in Unreal Engine, but I, I'm really stuck on a concept, and I've watched so many videos on this concept, and I just cannot figure it out. So, maybe at some point I'll get it. Maybe at some point it'll click, but for right now... Just, it's not, it's not going. If anyone out there is really, uh, really knowledgeable about Unreal Engine blueprints, let me know. I would love to sit down and, and pick your brain about how to make certain things happen. Mod had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Imagine as a promotional campaign... Whoever the voice actor is for Alan Wake 2, imagine if they wrote a book that covers the events of Alan Wake 1 and American Nightmare, and then they had the voice actor go on a book tour signing books that essentially is just, and it doesn't, it could be, it doesn't have to be much like 100 pages or so, but signing and, and you know, selling books that recap the, the two other games so that people who want to play 2 don't feel like they have to, uh, they have to find and play these games instead they could just read the book plus you'll get some free publicity from the voice actor being out there could be a cool idea could be a cool idea whoever's making this game i forget the, the name of the company if you want to hire me i'm an ideas guy all right getting in here ooh. yeah i can um ooh. ch plus tz tom 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 is tz then you talk to me on TV, Tom. Who talks to you on... Oh, this is a TV, it's an oven. I was so... Because it said TV, and I just... Right next to it, I was like, oh, that's definitely a TV. Uh, it's not openable. Oh, oh, oh. I curse you, Thomas Zane. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? What in the world? I miss you. Whoever wrote this is, uh, obsessed. Have you guys ever had a stalker? 
Tell me your stalker moments in the comments, guys. Tell me about the time you felt like you were being stalked, whether or not you actually were. Maybe it was just that one time walking home from class on a college campus and you thought someone was following you. Maybe it was an actual stalker. Let me know. I'll, uh, I'll talk about it in the next episode I make after I see that comment. It won't be next episode because I'm going to make a next episode right after this episode. And I will not have uploaded this video by then. Because, once again, I'm on a tight schedule. Oh, baby. That is not the gun I wanted out. Here we go. The power of flare compels you. The power of flare compels you. I got 13 flares. I can burn some. Oh, God. Yo, fire your freaking gun, bro! What are you doing, dude? He had bullets and I was pressing the button and he just stood there. Getting fucking molly -whopped by these guys. Bro. Alright, let's just use the flare gun a bunch. We have a ton of flare gun ammo. I swear, I was just pressing the shoot button right in front of that guy, and he never shot. I would have been dodging out of the way by then. Ooh, can I trick the game? Can't catch me slipping. Oh, no. Cannot trick the game. Okay. Alright, let him get in close, and then we... Kapow! Ooh, that is a bright flare. All right, come on, boys. Let them get in close, and then... Are you... F this man cannot dodge to save his fucking life. I press the dodge button, and he stands there like he's waiting for someone to take their finger out of his butt. Like, what are you doing, dude? All right. I am, uh... I'm not waiting for them to all get grouped up. I'm just going to flare people as I need. I have nine flare shots. We can do it. I've died twice on this part. I'm expending whatever I need to get through it. All right, let's go, guys. Come on. Oh, no, a trap. How could I have fallen for this? A trap is so unexpected. Yeah, I told you, I'm expending resources on this one. I'm not doing this again. You won't catch me failing three times in a row. Unless it's intermediate accounting two at college. I, fi I actually I only failed that twice in a row, and then I dropped a major. <laughs> so I guess I did fail that. I failed twice, and then I guess I failed the third time when I quit. Does that count as failing, do you guys think? In the comments, let me know. I'm just trying to get you guys to leave any kind of comment. I want to, before the end of the year, I want to hit 100 subscribers. That's my goal. My hope is by the end of Alan Wake 2, I've picked up about 15 new subscribers. And then I can find one more game that can put me over the over the top uh, by the end of the year. That's my goal. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I've heard the hardest milestone is 100 subscribers. Like, once you have 100, I feel uh, like, and you, as long as you're putting out solid, continuous content. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I feel like everything else kind of just starts to slowly trickle into place from there. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. 
We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Is this game going to end with me being crazy the whole time? I did say I wouldn't be surprised if this game ended up being a dream sequence and I wake up and I was asleep at the typewriter and Alice comes in and she's like, Honey, are you done typing that page? Let's go have sex. Because that would be pretty cool. Are you? Wait. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. Lady. I'm not showing this dude any mercy. We're murdering him. Up, swim out of there, buddy. Oh, sorry, microphone. Didn't mean to hit you. This is Mike, the microphone. He's uh, the person I talk to the most in this world. What's up, Mike? Ooh, and that's the end of part three. How many parts are in the game? Is it five or six? Five makes sense, but I feel like I'm halfway. So six would also make sense. We're just going to keep powering through. Normally, I would think that this is a great place to end a video, but I'm about halfway through what I want my video to be. So we're just going to keep on going, guys. There is no stop in this train. Previously on Alan right, we don't need to see previously. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. Oh, we just read the manuscript for this one. I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're, you're lying. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Fast. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. Go, 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 go. No. <sighs> I refuse. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. That's not OSHA compliant. How do you how are you OSHA compliant as a like a mental health facility if you have people locked in rooms who can't get themselves out in case of a fire? Do the doors unlock if a fire happens? Good evening, Alan. Are we how does that work? Better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. All right. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together.
This way, Alan. This would be a nice place to be institutionalized. Where are the buttons? Oh. <laughs> Floor two, please. All right, go ahead, buddy. You didn't press a button. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go That's about way, right, Alan. yeah. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious oh, there mind we go. trying to protect you from Found the, the walk button. painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. He's making a lot of sense. Maybe I'm just crazy. That would definitely mean something. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? It is pretty. Golden Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Coffee thermos. Can I go get that, Dr. Hartman? I don't know if I have a chance to go get it later, so let's go scoop it up now. Maybe there's a gun up here, too, and I can kill him. Sniff this one out, too. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wade is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. You can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on 
video Elbow game. Strike. It's trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Imagine putting a character in your video game that thinks video games are trash. How meta, guys. How meta. Come, Alan. This way. Now. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Oh, it wants me to continue writing so that I write the manuscript and it can see what's going to happen. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. Who's the old guys from the diner? Alvin wipes this place off the face of the earth. Why are they here? And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. You know, for someone who deals with creative types, he's kind of a dick about creative things. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Yeah, he wants me to write the manuscript. This is the darkness. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. <laughs> Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy that's the sanest thing i've heard in a while <laughs> say you're all right tom hey we like him don't we bro he's got to go to the farm the anderson farm valhalla we wrote it all down lest we forget a crash course all you need to know to get your head right you need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. They gave me a piece of the manuscript. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Yeah, this uh this doctor. My head was clearing up, or according Hartman. to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. He really, uh, for someone who specializes in helping creative types, he really does come across as a guy who's just like doesn't know how to handle creative types. I can only focus on writing everything else. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wait. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Ooh, is this a stealth mission? Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? 
Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Barry's gonna come looking for me. Easy peasy. That's how we get out. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Yeah, in here, he said this was the office. Markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The party is, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? Do you hear me? Or I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shreds! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The I don't care about how Barry's doing. He's a good friend, but like, this isn't about him. This is about me and Alice. All the pages I had on me. And more. Please, you're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh shit. I really j like okay, I get Hartman was a dick, but I really just let the dude die like that. That's crazy. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Oh, now I have to play a mini game to open the lock? Come on now. Oh, oh god. This door. This door. Nope, not that door. The possessed bookshelves out of my way. I need a light. How do I get light? From where? Is there something up here I can use? Ah, uh, yes, a generator! That'll work! Generator! Ooh, the zone got smaller. don't have a flashlight though. I need a flashlight. Get me out of here! Better work, it's the only one I had. <laughs> Always got time to stop and read, though. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, Suitable subjects were few and far in between.
Of course. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> He's got a flashlight. Just what I need. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Thanks, oh, Barry. God. Look at the house, Al. Look out. Six shots, two flares, and a flashlight. Let's do it. Um, is there anything out here that can guide me through the maze? Well, if the exit's to the left, I should always go left. Good. Good start. So I said this in my Inunaki tunnel video, but <clears throat> anytime you are met with a maze or anything like a maze, always go left. So right here, right or left... We're going to go left. And if this doesn't work out, when we come back, we always go left. We can't left. There's no left. So the next left is straight. Just always go left. You will eventually find your way out or you will. Uh, all the words that I know in the English language just left me. You'll find your way out. Or you'll you'll go through enough possibilities that eventually you, you have no choice but to find your way out. Area that littered the area surrounding an unlikely centerpiece, a full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Are we going to get to hear some of their rock music from their old, uh... Oh, wait, that was batteries. And bullets. Ooh, can't pass those up. Are we going to get to hear some of the rock music from their olden days? I sure hope so. I'm not a big rock fan, but I really hope we get to hear some. use of a flare, I think. Um, always go left. Find a manuscript page. Look at that. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been writing, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Did they keep me distracted, though? Confused, because the big burly guy, who's like the security, said that he was going to go check out what the noises were, which were the, the brothers having hit the nurse with the hammer. But he wasn't there when I got there. So where was he? What did he go do? I don't know. Mysteries for another day, right? You get scared in the morning, and then you'll be nice and calm. Oh, you get scared in the evening. Oh,
Good, I'm glad he's dead. Couldn't stand him. Good. Oh, and he left me a coffee thermos. Why does everybody have this exact same coffee thermos? Are they only allowed to sell one of these in the entire city of Bright Falls? It's like if you buy any other coffee thermos, you get shunned by society or something. Get out of here. Run, Mr. Wake. Barry's awaiting for you. But first, let me check the shed. Yeah. Give me all the cool stuff. And the manuscript. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel. But instead... He seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Mott's the kidnapper, right? Yeah, he, uh, he totally lied about having my wife, and I'm totally gonna murder him, give him a chance. nine bullets left that's not bad gotta conserve our ammo maybe it was worth it to use the flare gun there or even the shotgun i just didn't think of it at the time oh well god you cannot there is no dodge in that stuff if you don't have anything to hide behind Just no dodge in it whatsoever. Milt made Tom do it. I don't care who made Tom do it. I also kind of forget who Tom is. But I don't care why he did it. Or who made him do it. I just care that he did it. Ooh. I did see a yellow sh- oh, yeah, well, it could lead me over here, okay. Like, I saw the yellow shiny. Where's it taking me, though? Right here. I need pistol- oh, no, I don't need revolver ammo. Flare gun ammo's good. A little more AoE for those AoE situations. Wow, we have really overshot the mark. I genuinely just forgot that I was recording videos. I've just been talking and playing the game. Um... All right, cool. Uh, I'm just going to find a natural endpoint, like in this light right here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, if you could like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can to help me rise up the YouTube algorithm. That way other people can find it and enjoy my content. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, guys, until next time, see ya.